everybody, I'm Sarah. This is John. And we are Recorder Players, players to the Max. This is Bodil, our daughter, she's here. You will remember my husband John, he's in these videos a lot and you are always asking for more John. A few weeks ago we were playing a tune in one of my videos. You thought his playing was so masterful, you didn't believe that he's not a professional recorder player. I love playing contemporary music on the recorder. I thought it'd be fun to challenge John. Can you play contemporary music? Do I on can? The recorder. Because I'm a recorder genius. I've got some of my favourite contemporary music scores. <laughs> Easy. <laughs> Easy. It's just squiggly lines, it's not even real music. It quite often happened when I was practicing a piece that I'd spend like months working on it, getting everything perfect, and then John would pick up a recorder and copy what I was doing, and it would just sound oh. perfect. <laughs> yeah, it would just sound the same. Mm -hmm. We are going to start with Astro. Astro by Judy Teddy. Astro. I did a whole tutorial on this last week on how to actually play it. Spoiler alert. I did not watch it. <laughs> Good. Did not watch it. It contains circular breathing mm, yeah. and finger patterns oh, yeah. mm, to course. explore the harmonic overtone series of the recorder. Excellent. Yeah, love exploring okay. those. It's my second favorite thing to explore after mountains. Okay, good. Can you sight read? Maybe just the well, start. I'm just going to start from the beginning, yeah. yeah. I'm meant to tell you your own work, you can't dictate it yourself. <laughs> That's bullshit. That was played with a lot of artistry. Mm -hmm. It was very convincing, even though it wasn't what was written on the score. Beginning, you did like, can you play how you did that beginning? Yeah, it's like G and it goes down all the way down there. Yeah. And instead of articulating, it's just like an overblown chord. Uh. Page three, shall we? <laughs> this section with all these notes. Yeah. Okay, ready? Then he's playing contemporary classical music on the recorder. <laughs> and then to to M F. I wasn't there yet. <laughs> I got it, I get it, it's easy. And also it's not fair because your has goldy bits and mine just has holes, so... Oh no, but it's meant to be, this is, yeah. these goldy bits aren't okay. relevant. pretty authentic. It was good, but why did you keep going? That was me doing circular breathing. That's how you do <laughs> circular breathing. You go and then puff out your cheeks and breathe into your nose. So you got all of the like worst bits of circular breathing in there and none of the actual circular breathing. Have you seen Obviously. all these notes? Like look how many actual notes there are. It yeah. sounds like bloop, but there's actual tons of notes in there. Can you see it? You weren't playing any of the notes that were actually there. I was. I, was, I played some notes. Let's move on yeah. to my favourite piece. Jesty! Oh, Jesty! 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 Let's start with the opening. I'll play it for you and then you see how you. No, let me play it first. Mouth so, and fingers. Yeah, so your fingers play a random repeating pattern. Okay. The mouth, the black dots are your tongue. Ah. The higher it is, the stronger. Mm -hmm. The white dots are your voice. Voice, like. like uh. Yeah. <laughs> or like. Whoa. 
Yeah. This guy just didn't know how to write like music notes, so he just wrote this weird <laughs> schematic. That's not the point. Like the graphic score is the point. It's it's separating the elements of tongue fingers and air because mm. they're so closely intertwined on the recorder, and it's putting them on these separate islands and seeing what happens if you use the score in like this indeterminate way. Okay. <laughs> 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 scored contemporary piece for the recorder written in the 60s that broke open the barriers of what our instrument could do and catapulted it into the forefront of contemporary innovation. Ah, oh, okay, cool, I got it. That makes a lot of sense. Let's go to the climax of the piece. Oh yeah, I remember that part. That was the most impassioned of all time. So I would play it like this. Mommy's funny. Mommy's funny. <laughs> How can I play classical? Okay, let's play some real notes. Let's just see you so let's just side read that if you're so good at recorder. This is just you showing off. Like well, I'm not learning anything here. Who can actually play this? I've seen you play this piece a million times and I hear you play Lord of the Rings and Harry Potter. Who <laughs> are like cess tuplets and eleven tuplets? What's the point? The point is that he's... Baby day, baby day. The point is baby that day, baby day. <laughs> I'm trying to say the point of contemporary music here. Oh sorry, I'm not trying to Okay. To knock a I mean, it's really amazing. The point is that he separated the three elements that make recorder playing, and then finally, in the end, he brings them back together. Could you actually play this like with a metronome clicking, with all these subdivisions and all these crazy rests? Yeah. Or you just kind of like because you're on a company, you just kind of you know, get get it kind of in the in the vicinity. Moving on. <laughs> that was Jesse, possibly the most important piece for a recorder. That John can now play. Um, okay, close your eyes, close your eyes and hold out your hand. <gasps> My favorite piece ever written, tiny little drum and recorder at the same time. Do you want to, do you want to play the tiny drum? Mommy played this tiny drum at her master end exam. From a piece I played in my master end exam, it's called Sin Descanso by Roderick de Man. It's for all kinds of recorders and electronics and a drum! Tiny drum! So I'll show you how I did it. I know how to velcro a tiny drum to my wrist, thank you very much. The idea is that you hold the sopranino in your left hand with the drum hanging here, mm -hmm. and then I velcro the drumstick to this finger, and then you can play. It doesn't fit. <laughs> it's because you refused my help. <laughs> it looks really uncomfortable. Look. <laughs> it's really hard. It's theatrical as well. Pretty, pretty, yeah, I mean, 
mean you were you were like improvising the notes? Do you want to try the part with two recorders together? So you've got it's the these... same piece. Yeah, it's just page two. Is there a little point in the score where it says, remove tiny drum from wrist? No, the, the composer just lets you figure that bit out on your own. I used to do it like this. I'd have my drum, I'd be like, drum, and then I'd turn around. I'm removing, I'm removing, and then I'd be like, to the audience? Oh my gosh, so dramatic. So dramatic. It was really dramatic. Really dramatic. Okay, last one, Gentle Walker by Zayna Clark. You sing and play at the same time, so your fingers just go... How can you be doing this? It's so difficult. I mean, this is amazing. It's Thank you. That's very nice, but th that's not true at all because you just have to commit one of them to memory. The recorder goes D, F, G, D, D, F. Try it. No. <laughs> that's be embarrassing. No, I don't want to. <laughs> you tried all of this crazy stuff and you won't try this piece. Yeah, because when it's like actually, you know, supposed to sound like something, that makes it a lot more scary. Yeah. You start unison, and then you go down one step. Yeah, with the time she's hitting? That's absurd! Can you... Genius baby. Can you say genius baby? Baby. Genius. genius baby. It's beautiful, it's a beautiful piece. It's a beautiful piece. I take, yeah. I retract my words about contemporary classical music. There's so much beautiful contemporary classical music. So... So here's what I learned about contemporary classical recorder today. That it's super difficult. Like, unreasonably difficult. Mostly unpleasant to listen to unless you're a contemporary classical composer or recorder player. Here's the thing, if you just pretend and like do some approximation of what's there, it's always going to sound ridiculous. But with contemporary music, it's not about playing it because the composer said you had to, but it's figuring out what the composer was trying to say and then bringing that to life. And then it can be really beautiful or it can be aggressive or it can be mysterious or it can be exciting. And that's the thing I love about contemporary music, you're really con creating something. Yeah. It's time to end the video. This was me challenging John to play contemporary music. I was going to say... accepted. I was going to say teaching him to play it, but I feel like I've taught you all absolutely nothing. <laughs> oh, we're going to end here. As always, you can subscribe to my channel by clicking on my face down here in the corner. Nice. Over here is the Team Recorder Patreon. We're here? Where, yeah, exactly there, where you can choose to support the channel. Up here is last week's tutorial on Astro, where I actually teach you. Thanks for watching and have a great day. Bye!